no up in way. K. Rool? No way. I. This is gonna be sick if they're actually doing this. They're actually wow, doing this. They locked it in. Okay. I had I had suspected that um, K. Rool is actually gonna be a good doubles character just because of the mechanics that he can. Having present. armored aerials and you having can live forever. Having armored aerials, having a side B that doesn't stop when it connects with something, or just having the crown. Yeah. Um, rounded moves such as down throw and F tilt. Or down tilt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's the second heaviest character in the game. He's already gotten racked up to 84, but hey, man, you live to 200, so not yeah. even half your life. Another thing, too, is when you edge guard K. Rule, you usually have to get like horizontal to him, and it takes a lot of setup. Um, it's hard to trade with the helicopter from above. So um, since that takes all that time, K. Rule's recovery is a lot less exploitable in doubles. That's right. But when he is taking all that time to recover, you can, in fact, focus on his partner. Yes, for sure. Uh, actually, K. Rule seems to be taking majority of the damage. <laughs> oh, wow, big S smash oh, to oh. get punished by Idol's down smash. Yeah, I'm at 150. Let me kill you at 80 real quick. <laughs> that, that's actually really what happened. Like, he just said, hold this. Wow, and <laughs> I mean, can we talk about how Fallen is using uh, <laughs> Robin right now? Like, dang. Just, uh, I've never even seen Fallen play Robin. So this, this is really exciting. And like, like I said, the K rule finally going to get taken out. Jeez, yes. he was at such high percentage. And just weaving around easy while Idol actually comes out and off stage to help him. And when you have an amazing vertical recovery, why not? Oh, there's a jab, but going to get interrupted. And easy going to keep the juggle going. But Idol says no with the neutral air. Ooh, and that up throw looks like a really good setup, too. Yeah. Doesn't take him like all the way to the top of the screen. Just, uh, just to uh, set him out of distance that he yeah. looks like you can follow up on. Yeah, and you know what I really like about this team? Wow, the up smash not going to take him out. Okay, easy going to get this grab here. I, I really like Ido and Fallen's team because both of them, like, they have very prominent projectiles that just take up a lot of room. Yeah, you know, the, the K rule crown takes up so much room. He has armor on it. Oh, there's a ground. And, yeah. Oh, man, and doubles down throw must be godlike with K rule because you can down throw and your opponent can be already, like, setting up for, like, a charge smash attack or something. Like, wow. Yeah, either you can set up for a charge smash attack or if you're too late to get to the Gets a position for the smash attack. You can just position yourself, and when they do pop out, if they do mash out. Yeah, and just cover both options. Like, K. Rool can throw the F smash on the bottom, and your teammate can be up top throwing out some crazy aerial. And when your your teammate is Robin with 11 sword. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you know, that's a great setup. Aerial smash attack. Man, K. Rool also has, like, the crown and the cannon he can set up as one as well. And right now, wow, Fallen has three stocks. Yeah. He's Fallen has three stocks. He's been doing a great job playing that support role. He's charging up his Thoron. Yeah, he's standing. using uh, the fires, arc fires. Oh, and he even has Gyro in hand. Yeah, he has the Thoron too, but he wants oh. to be careful because you don't want to hit Ido. And right now, Easy going to take uh, both of those stocks, but it's it still three, three stocks. Three yeah, three one. stocks to one. And uh, I don't feel like Ido and uh, Fallen are going to drop Is this. Is that going to combo? That will definitely combo. Is he going to jump a combo? Oh, OK. What? So when he throws I'm like out so Thoron, mad that didn't hit. Like I want that to hit so bad. But did you see what Thoron did? It actually followed uh, Fallen as he fell. I mean, it's going to cover a wider range. Yeah, right now, I mean, Ido's getting a lot of these uh, neutral bees, but okay, right now with the edge guard, both of them trying to cover with all these aerials here. They're chasing easy so far off stage. It doesn't matter where he's going. They're both uh, in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? He didn't get the spike Good hit job, Ido. Good But job. You, you know what? <laughs> 7 out of 10. You got the kill. You got the kill. It, it wasn't downwards, but you got the kill. Got the job done. Yo, Fallen you know with what? the Fallen jacket, though. Dang, what looking, looking crisp, man. Does he have his own brand? I don't know. Maybe. Check it out. <laughs> but, I mean, I, first string for San Diego, definitely coming in with that revenge. Game one. That was, uh, that was quite the body bag, if I do say so myself. And for the first time, we see Easy and Houston actually... Having a little bit of trouble uh, with their opponents. They've been Dude, they just couldn't kill Fallen. They they couldn't kill. Well, to be honest, they didn't really try to kill Fallen. <laughs> they focused a lot of their attention onto Ido. Right. And Ido just soaked the damage. Like, every time Ido died, he was, like, around 200%. How much value is that? You know what I mean? Like, he like he ended up being at his last stock at the end, right? So yeah. those first two stocks, he, he, he soaked 400 damage. I don't know about you guys, but 400 is a pretty big number. I mean, I don't even get to 400 damage with three stocks. <laughs> yes, like, it's crazy, man. So let's see if they try to maybe focus their 
attention more on Fallen. And you know, when you have a spellcaster type character like Robin, just have all the room she wants off to the side, casting all of her spells on you, it's gonna be pretty hard to deal with. But right now, Easy just up airing. What, right, right team? Right Easy's, team to oblivion. Easy is pushing all the buttons right now. He has been connecting the last several hits. Man, I, I really want to see some like cool team, like. It's just so interesting because, you know, we, we have all these new characters and I want to see all the cool team setup combos they can yes. do and so all that stuff. We can see a down air nope just chasing easy down. Uh, doesn't get the tech. He's going to chase him up again, but running out of gas. Dang, Easy's you don't see that every off day. off stage just too long. Yeah, I, I, that's like one of the first times I've seen, uh, oh, dang. Oh, Ido doing the same thing. k Roll not making it back? I've never seen that. <laughs> I, I have never. K. Rool falling short on the up BY, and it, it, it's kind of crazy. I feel like he, without double jump, he does sink a little bit, but for the most part, you see K. Rool make it back every single time. And you're seeing Easy play off stage quite a bit, even chasing uh, both Ido and Fallen off, connecting the back air, taking uh, Fallen stock. Yep. Yeah, there's a the neutral B. Okay, I, and that dash tag so, so strong. But, oh, oh but wow. K. Rool going to survive barely. Even That's with right. all that weight, he almost died. That trade worked out in San Diego's favor. Okay, right now, uh, pretty much everyone had two stocks, but Houston's still on his last one here. And, yeah, it's looking pretty grim here. I mean, it's not a complete deficit here for Blue Team, but they are starting to fall behind, and the lead's getting bigger and bigger. Idaho's taking all that damage, even chasing Houston off stage, but we did see him get footstooled. Again! Not gonna make it back. Can he? I, I feel like he could have drifted to the right a little bit, right? Well, could he just like directional air dodge back to the ledge? No, you can't oh, directional air dodge. You can't air directional air dodge. Oh, dude, that would be so broken, bro. I mean, Sonic can do it, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ido with the down smash. That K roll down smash is so, so strong, and it has that belly armor. He's chasing him up! up. <laughs> he chased him up! They gave him the copter! Oh, getting the up B kill right off the top. I, and I mean, what risk are you? You're not going to die in that situation. So. Especially when you're like below 50%. How yeah. are you going to die? Yeah. <laughs> Ido just going to take him all the way up with that helicopter. And it's just so funny when you see K. Rool kill like that. <laughs> I mean, that is that is not how the move was intended to work. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to get you back on stage. Not, uh, <laughs> not just, you know, helicopter, take someone for a ride all the way up top, show them the world. All right, so Houston at very low percent here. Oh, what? Uh, uh. I'm not sure. What was that? I don't know. I, there was no no hitbox thrown out, so it wasn't a clash. But that was interesting. Yeah, that was very interesting. Oh, oh. the helicopter in convert. Yo! Helicopter into <laughs> up air? Okay, Ido, okay, you're just showing off, yeah, Ido. Ido's <laughs> trolling right now. I love it. Ido's a great guy. <laughs> oh, down throw. Oh, in oh. the whiff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. there we go. And he even saw Ido kind of slow the tempo down of his jabs, like, all right, Fallen, get ready to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Ido just laughing it up, having a great time. Uh, Easy in Houston, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now, Easy in Houston trying to figure out how to stop this combo, man. I mean, it's an interesting combo for sure. We have the uh, Fire Emblem's own waifu, Robin. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And and then we have the uh, the villain of Donkey Kong, King K. Rule. Uh, definitely one of my favorite video game uh, villains. I love that big eyeball, man. He he's always just uh, he's always freaked out about something. <laughs> K. K. Rule is always stressing, man. Like K. Rule never like goes into work and is just like, oh, yeah, today's gonna be a relaxing day. Like something something's always up. Something's well, always happening. Got a bunch of monkeys trying to take his bananas. Dang monkey <laughs> business, man. Someone someone's always stressing out K. Rule, man. Yeah. Can can he just have a peaceful day at the office? Never. <laughs> Never. Not in the life of the king. Yep. All right, but right now, I mean, K. Rule is definitely putting in work. Just that big, bulky, heavy character. Ido definitely taking advantage of that. And being big and bulky, you also have that insane amount of kill power. We've seen Ido kill with down smash and, I mean, even up B at yeah. very early percents. Yeah. So, But yeah. it's interesting that we started here in game three. We saw both players actually ignore Ido and go right for Fallen. Yes. For, in fact, Ido was so ignored that he was able to throw out his crown, shoot his cannon, <laughs> still run up. <laughs> he up smashed over the jack. <laughs> I mean, when your animations just make you like auto space stuff, that's, you know those are good moves. Ido's a pretty smart dude. Uh oh, no double jump. He's gonna have to, no yeah. double jump needed. Yeah, and that's the one thing that you can exploit with K. Rule is, you know, 
it's really hard to edge guard him from a, um, like on top of him. But if you can hit him out with no double jump, then he just has to up you, and then you just cover the high. Um, can be harder in doubles, like I said. You know, Fallen is going to be there to cover his uh, recovery. We're not easy trying to get that up air, and Ido sitting at 148. Right, both, both, our, yep. both our stock tanks going at it, but we're seeing up B convert into up air once again for Team San Diego. Okay, and right now Ido sitting at 163, just showing off that weight to everyone. But the counter on the da uh, get up attack for Houston, going to take out Ido's stock there. And we see a big oh, play coming dang. out from EZ. Not going to work out, but exactly not going to cause him his stock either. Is Ido oh, going to be able to recover? Okay. Yes, he is. And Ido actually timed his up B so he would save Fallen as well. Very amazing play because both of them went really aggressive. They wanted to close out easy stock. They missed the edge guard, but Ido was there to cover his teammate. And that's what you got to really see and have to have really good double synergy. Well, Houston's doing a good job. We saw easy carry Ido into the right, left side of the stage. But wow, big oh, forward no. air. Oh, Fallen did a directional air dodge instead of up being there. Um, Ido actually was getting in position to save him as well. Unfortunate. So now, um, now Fallen on his last stock. Yeah, flub on San Diego's part and a big forward air from Ido are going to trade those stocks. They're, they're still up a good amount. You know, Ido is sitting at only 109 on his second stock here. And that ledge drop double jump crown throw is a very strong option. I have never even really thought of it, but it's really good just because you uh, you have armor on that throw. That's right. So it's a, it's a way to do a ledge drop double jump armor option. Well, the shift change or the change in the focus for a team. Uh, easy in Houston definitely seems to be working out. They're giving Ido a lot more room, just kind of making sure that he plays off stage. Yeah. And then beelining for Fallen. As yeah. you see right here, Fallen already at 98%. That's going to be a kill percent for oh, Easy. Stitches. Yeah, that's a stitch face. He's got to watch it. it. Oh. Oh, man. And right now, Fallen already at 120. Or is Ooh. he dead? This could be it. Oh, he gets the stock, though. Ido going to close out Houston's stock. That was such a big deal. Now it's not a 2v1. Oh, back throw, miss yeah. a little miscommunication there from red team. Even if Easy's able to take Ido stock. Gonna cover roll. Kill. What, what yeah. do you do? Oh, Fawn doesn't cover you roll. roll. <laughs> you roll. That's what you do. No, but but Fawn was supposed to be there. No, 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 not today. <laughs> <laughs> that's tomorrow's plan. Dang, no, he was on break. That union break. I mean, it's a tough life for the king. Okay, but it's gonna be the kill. The dash attack not gonna be enough. Try to get the Thoron snipe on the jump. Easy, still on the defense here. Oh, but the grab, but the top actually thrown. That's right. Actually going oh, over no! easy. Okay. <laughs> going over easy and then hitting Ido, setting himself to lose that stock, but still going to be able to clean up game three. Yeah. And that almost looked like a really big flub from red team. It actually looked like, uh, you know, um, easy was actually going to take the stock, maybe like take out Fallen stock. Yes. And it was, yeah, it was looking. It would have been a 1v1. would have yeah. been a little bit difficult. Yeah. yeah. But for. But still, like in seen, the realm of possibility. Yeah. Well, because from what we've seen easy do earlier in the day, like he's been able to kill people at 50. Yeah, and he, we've been seeing him combo people 250. So like, combo someone 250, kill at 50. Yo, Ido 